Uh, if you could all stand, I'm going to read a gospel passage from the book of John. This is the gospel that we read for Christmas. A reading from the gospel of the of a reading from the holy gospel of John. May the spirit of the Lord be always in my mind, on my lips, and my heart. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came to be through him, and without him nothing came to be. What came to be through him was life, and this light was the light of the human race. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came to be through him. But the world did not know him. He came to what was his own but his own did not accept him. But to those who did accept him, he gave power to become children of God. To those who believe in his name, who are born not by natural generation, nor by human choice, nor by a man's decision, but of God. And the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. And we saw his glory, the glory as of the father's only son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and cried out, saying, This was he of whom I said, The one who is coming after me ranks ahead of me, because he existed before me. From his fullness we have all received grace in place of grace. Because while the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. The only Son, God, who is at the Father's side, has revealed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Have a seat, please. Imagine a child on the night of Christmas Eve trying to go to bed. The child is unable to sleep because he has so much excitement welling up inside him. Months of waiting, 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 and finally he's on the verge of exploding like a volcano. Have you ever felt this way? Imagine being on the edge of a great mystery, lying awake in wonder. Will Santa come? Will he bring presents? Are they big? Will I like them? While the child may have slept in on any other day, on this day, He's sure to get up before the sun, knocking on his parents' door, asking, can we go downstairs yet? It's Christmas. Let's open presents. It seems to me John's prologue, this scripture passage just proclaimed, captures the same eager anticipation of mystery and wonder. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And this builds and builds. What came to be was life, and his life shines through the darkness, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us. It's here. The time is here. Let us rejoice and be glad. The eager child's parents are half asleep, but they crawl out of bed at the child's excitement. Down the stairs they go, the child pulling on the parent's arm. Come on, Daddy. The child sees with wide eyes all the presents and stops for a moment, breathless. He regains his senses and races to the presents, tears off the wrapping paper like a flash of light, and he oodles over the presents. Daddy, it's what I've always wanted. Like this child, we are surrounded by beautiful presents. All of God's creation, all of us, are a beautiful gift from God are a present from God. Scripture tells us, the word was with God in the beginning and all things came to be through him. What came to be through him was life, the light of the human race. 
Each one of us is a present, personally, personally selected, purchased, and wrapped by God, with Christ the Son, and through the Holy Spirit. We are all the perfect presence from God. Now let's take a minute to think what that means. You're a present. You have wrapping paper outside. You have a bow and a name tag. If you're a present, what do you see? You don't see anything. You're a present. It's dark inside. You've got wrapping paper blocking out the light, tape holding it all together. You have a bow and a name tag. And the irony really is, is that you don't see any of this. The wrapping paper is the most beautiful paper you can imagine. But it's dark, so you don't see it. The bow is a perfect shape and size, but all you feel is something like a pimple on the top of your head. The name tag you can't see either, but you know what the name tag says. It says, to my beloved, with eternal love. How easy it is for us to forget that we're all God's most desirable gifts. How often in our darkness do we forget how precious we are. It's easy to think negatively about our wrapping paper, those things that we think aren't perfect in ourselves, that we're too small or too tall or not smart enough or not beautiful or athletic enough or friendly enough. It's easy to feel the darkness of our life, those moments of family fights, even at Christmas time where we fight about the same stupid things year after year. Or the tug on our hearts when we don't have enough money at Christmas to buy a gift for a loved one. Or even the pain of celebrating Christmas for the first time without one of our loved ones. Sometimes I don't want to be a present because it is dark and it is painful. What John's gospel assures us, though, is that this feeling won't last forever. It's dark as a present, yes, and we feel that tug of pain, but it's not the final word. Because the word, capital W, Jesus Christ came into the world to bring light to our darkness. Jesus came to unwrap us. Jesus will unwrap us. And when he does, he'll say to the Father, Daddy, it's what I've always wanted. With the energy of a child rushing down the stairs on Christmas morning, Jesus comes into the world, the word became flesh, and he became one of us. Jesus knew firsthand, even from his birth, the pain and darkness that we feel. Scripture tells us he came into the world, but the world did not know him. The world did not accept him. Christ felt the pain of rejection, the darkness of being an outcast, the fear of being murdered. He understands us because he too was a present from the Father, beautifully and perfectly wrapped. Now, wait a minute. If Jesus is a present wrapped up and we're a present wrapped up, how does he open us? Well, Jesus is different, right? Jesus is our redeemer. By the mystery of his being both fully human and fully divine, he is the only present that can unwrap himself. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And also, the Word became flesh and lived among us. So Jesus, through his life, death, and resurrection, cast aside his own wrapping paper, and he turns with us with the excitement of a little child to do the same. Jesus tears away our self-doubt, our guilt, our self-pity, our insecurities. He lets his light shine deeply into our hearts, and he shines his light in the darkness, and the darkness shall not overcome it. A present must be ordered, must be opened in order to be loved fully. We have to be opened in order to be loved fully by God and to see our glory, which is Christ in us. Christ opens himself, and he opens us, Each one of us has the light of the human race just waiting to burst forth. As we continue celebrating the gift of Christmas, the question is this. Will you let your Redeemer unwrap you?